Hi, I'm Candice from TopCon Healthcare. Today, I'm going to talk about how to determine whether your Aladdin measurements are reliable. Precise measurements are important to obtain accurate intraocular lens calculations to get the best possible outcomes. So how do you know if your biometry measurements are reliable? When all data is captured on the Aladdin, the figure will show in white. Any measurement that has not been properly captured will have a warning sign next to it. The warning signs can be a yellow triangle, which means that the measurement may not be accurate, or a red dot, which means that the measurement was not obtained. Best practices recommend taking three repeat measurements of each eye. The Aladdin will combine the readings and provide an average. Published data confirms the accuracy and repeatability of the Aladdin measurements. If there are any red dots or any yellow warning symbols in any data box, data should be acquired again. If the errors or warnings are in the AL axial length category, these can be retested individually by simply selecting AL at the bottom of the screen. If the errors or warnings are in the keratometry category, KER, these can be retested individually by selecting KER at the bottom of the screen. If the errors or warnings are in any other categories, the entire sequence of testing needs to be repeated. When reviewing the topographic data, check the topography map and make sure that a large enough area was captured and that the tear film didn't break up and cause loss of data. Make sure that droopy lids or the side of the patient's nose didn't interfere with the acquisition. In addition, make sure that sections of the topography are not missing due to tear film breakup. Rewetting drops can be used if needed. The accuracy of keratometry measurements in particular can be thrown off by tear film disruption and small eye movements. A composite keratometry value will appear along with a standard deviation in parentheses next to the K1 and K2 values. These standard deviations should be less than 0.3. And this is how you verify the accuracy of the measurements using the Aladdin. For more information on how to use the Aladdin, please check out our videos on TopCon Healthcare University.